okay so i'm re-recording my video that i posted last year about my business idea the business idea that i took out a patent for hoping that you know nobody will steal my idea until i get enough time to generate some funds to get it started um so it's an idea that works like this you have a driver trainee the driver trainee is a person that wants to learn how to drive then you have a driver trainer is a person that is going to train the trainee how to drive and then you have an administrative system that basically control the driver trainer and the driver trainee it works very similar to the uber application is almost almost the same concept um, but it's different it's just a idea of the platform is similar so it's a case where the driver trainee is going to download the application it's going to be an application so the driver trainee is going to download the application from play store or you know app store when they download they're going to sign up as a trainee and then on the other hand you're going to have another person who download the application who is looking for a job download the application and sign up as a driver tra trainer right so whenever both person you know download the app and sign up the trainer is going to who's going to accept the trainee request for driving lesson so how it works is that the trainee is going to request a driving lesson they're going to you know download the app sign up request a driving lesson and as soon as they request a driving lesson the trainer is going to accept the driving lesson and they're going to take them they're going to pick them up at your location take them on the road and you know train them for for however long that training period is and then when the, that training period is finished they take them back bear in mind i am currently thinking about 60 hours to complete the entire lesson the entire course in order for you to get like a certificate and also generate a driver's license but before you can reach your 60 hours you have to pass um rigorous driving tests so you have to drive at least 10 hours while it's raining you have to drive at least 10 hours at night for those part of the country that it does not snow you're gonna do that if it's snow obviously you're gonna drive at least 10 hours in the snow and at least 10 hours at night just to make sure you're able to drive you know the app is also built in with you know um very sensitive um stuff for example before the train needs start driving the app is gonna um, scan their eye they're gonna do like an eye test you know call in some letters regular eye test just to make sure that they actually are not you know partially blind if they are then they the app is gonna automatically tell them that they need to go to the doctor to get out um, um, glasses and then when they come back sign when they come back they, they don't have to sign up again they can just come to where they were at and take the test again um and so forth um the driver trainer is also going to require to take a test at the beginning of signing up so they're going to need to take a test it's going to be approximately 30 to 45 minutes you know they're going to watch the video it's going to be a video um, about you know customer service how you're supposed to be with your customer do not touch your customer while they're driving you know you know just professionalism basically and also um some you know detailed stuff about how you're supposed to train somebody while they're driving so they're going to watch that um video after watching that video they have to take um, a test which they will be required to pass I'm assuming I'm guessing right now that the pass mark would be like about 90% so if they pass the test with 90% then they are able to log into their dashboard 
and as soon as they log into their dashboard they will be able to see um, potential clients for themselves so for example if somebody within i'm assuming that i want it to be within like 10 miles for each driver so if somebody within 10 miles requests a ride the, f the first or the closest um, drivers driver traders that are within that 10 mile would get a notification and the first one to accept it is the one that will get the ride if somebody requests a ride for like say tomorrow at 5 o'clock and say a driver trader accept that ride when you reach about um, 4.45 a notification will be sent to that driver trader to notify them that um, they have a ride and if they don't come online within that time, then they will automatically be, you know, disregarded. And then that same ride will be posted to another driver that is in close proximity. Um, so, yeah, if a driver decides to not follow the policy, then that driver will be kicked from the application and they won't be able to... You know log on but driver is gonna need their social driver trainer is gonna need their social security number their driver driver's license their car insurance and you know some necessary documents um and they have to have a good driving record um no dui um if they do get like a speedy ticket that's fine but no dui no reckless driving and stuff like that um the trainee um they will need their social so they need their social security number that's the trainee the social security number the bank the bank card to make their payment obviously their name you know some basic information about themselves but they need their social or the itin basically Yes, so that's version one of the app. That's just a basic overview of what the application does. Just a basic overview. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, the trainee is going to, at the beginning, when they basically download the app before they request a ride, um, they would have to watch a video they work just a basic video um you know explaining some basic things and after they finish watching that video they would need to take an online test which is the same or not same but similar tests more most of the questions will be the same because obviously driving is knowledge so you can't really change information like that so the trainee they gonna take a test it's very similar to the test that we do at the dmvs it's very similar and they would have to pass those tests or pass that test which is basically they call it a written test or the computer test they would have to pass that test and then after they pass that test they're gonna get a like a notification to say you know they have completed that part and they are allowed to go on the road to do the necessary driving training yes so that's that's that um, oh and the driver trainer whenever they take their test um, they will get a certificate as well to say that they are qualified or they are authorized to train drivers on the road um so if just in case a police uh, pull them over they can show them the certificate um that they are able to be they're legally allowed to do what they're doing um so that's version one of the application um i i call that one 1.0 and then you know after like a year or two or three years but after that one is developed and is in full operation i don't know how long it's going to take um, it's approximately a year or two after 
I'm going to launch um, version 2. Version 2 is like a smarter application for version 1. The idea is similar. It's just that um, after after um, the after the the, the driver trainee completes you know, like thirty percent of training, and that thirty that thirty percent of training entails, you know, watching the necessary video at the beginning. Um, meet with a driver trainee, sorry, a driver trainer. So the trainee meet with a driver trainer, and they go on the road for at least five times at least five times or say at least five hours basically um, that would entail approximately 30 percent of the lesson and after they have done that after they have been on the road five times watching video whatever then they are allowed to use this smart application which is version 2.0 and in that version, um, the app is going to be so sophisticated where um, the driver trainee will be able to drive, to train themselves basically. So they won't need a trainer in the car. So the app will train them. So what they have to complete 30% with 30% of version 1.0 they have to complete 30% of version 1.0 which is approximately 5 hours on the road you know watch the test whatever whatever because they have to actually get a feel of driving on the road before so after they do that they can download version 2.0 in which version 2.0 is a smart app where it will basically help facilitate them you know driving by themselves to get their driver's license in which they will basically um, be tested by the app how fast they are driving if they are speeding if they um, if they are obstructing traffic if they accelerate too fast if they are not staying in their lane if they are using their phone while driving it will detect that um, if they um, I said speeding, lane changing is also going to detect um, like parallel parking, you know, all the kind of different parkings. Um, it's going to also detect, um, it's going to also detect if you, you know, can do like a three point turn, you know, stuff like that is going to basically detect you are able to drive. So, that is um that app is going to be more expensive and um also with that 2.0 version um i am thinking that you know round and about um in the country um people who own like car marts are people who have like an extra car at their home and they are willing to sign up on that application for trainee to use their car so for example say i have two car and i drive one most of the time when i have another one that i don't really use i can sign up on version 2.0 as a car lender and for example um a train request a ride there's a notification come on my phone to say that somebody needs to, to use my car and then I can either like accept, say they say want you to use my car tomorrow at 5 to 7, just for argument's sake, 5 o'clock to 7. Um, and, I, and, I want, and I won't be using my car during that time. I can accept it and give them my car to go and do the training with my car. But before able to do that, um, the person who have the car that is going to lend, they would have to buy purchase a device um 
they would have to process a device from the company which is a driving company which is rowing drivers if they when they purchase that app um, that device that device is going to be installed in the car and that device is going to be used to detect a lot of movements and you know a lot of stuff which is it, it it has a camera on it as well and stuff like that so it basically work as a it kind of work as a, like a tracker to see and to test and to notify and stuff like that so they would have to purchase a device out of their pocket and then you know install it in their car so that helps with the driver train me as well you know more thought will be put into that um as soon as you know i go along but for right now that's like the idea so people would be able to drive will be able to train themselves basically how to drive and uh, whenever they completed um the required amount of hours and they pass then they able to get their driver's license in your mail all of this basically reduce um the long lines at you know dmvs you know places where you go to get your driver's license reduce lines because imagine you can download an app and get your driver's license by you know stuff like that it's it's, it's 2021 now well the first video that i recorded was 2023 we're in 2024 now it's january I think the first app I recorded was in September sometime there about but today date is January January 13 2024 yeah so um so yeah the app in is in the future is uh, gonna work as a future generation way of driving a way of getting your driver's license and stuff like that because now you have tesla car driving by itself so i mean why not get a driver's license where you don't need to be you know teach what to do but the app is instructing you and with that same app while you're driving um if you say for example you are trying to switch lane without using an indicator the app is going to penalize you it's going to give you a red flag and that red flag each time it gives you a red flag points will be removed it's like a test well it is a test points will be removed um from your total points and if you score if you remove too many points say for example um if you remove more than five points then you fail to get your driver's license and switching lane without using an indicator would probably remove one point that probably remove one point um driving without your seat belt is going to detect that you don't have your seat belt on that's going to remove approximately two points um driving and using your phone that probably remove like four points so right there you'd have to start all over again the process to get your driver's license so that's just a small way of doing stuff um so yeah that's my app that's my business idea um i'm just a guy with some smart ideas that um i'm willing to you know push my ideas to a limit and as soon as these these two application or idea you know off and going i have another remarkable idea that's gonna employ a lot of people and gonna change a lot of people's lives. But I wanna focus on this one first and I move forward. Yeah. Um, so peace out. Thank you guys for watching.